Did you know your lungs are like two big balloons that help you breathe? They expand and contract with every breath you take, bringing in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. They work hard every minute of every day, tirelessly keeping you alive and well. Sometimes, though, our lungs can get a bit sick, just like any other part of our body. One uncommon condition that can affect the lungs is called eosinophilic granuloma, which can cause various symptoms. Eosinophilic granuloma, or EG, is a mouthful, right? But it's important to understand what it means. It sounds complicated, but don't worry, we're going to break it down together in simple terms. We'll learn what it is, how it affects the lungs, how doctors figure it out through various tests and examinations, and what it means for someone who has it, including treatment options and lifestyle changes. Understanding this condition can help us all appreciate the amazing work our lungs do every single day and how important it is to keep them healthy through good habits and regular checkups. So, let's dive in and learn more. Section 4. Recognizing the Signs and Symptoms Sometimes, eosinophilic granuloma doesn't cause any noticeable symptoms at all. You might feel perfectly fine and go about your daily routine without any hint of trouble. It's like a silent ninja hiding in the lungs waiting to strike when you least expect it. However, some people might experience a persistent cough that just won't go away, shortness of breath, or even chest pain that can be quite alarming. In rare and more severe cases, they might even cough up blood, which is a clear sign that something is seriously wrong. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to tell your doctor right away. Early detection can help them figure out what's going on and ensure you get the right treatment as soon as possible. Section 5, e.g. by the numbers Epidemiology and Prognosis. Eosinophilic granuloma is most common in children and young adults, but it can happen to people of any age. This condition is characterized by the presence of a type of white blood cell called eosinophils, which can form granulomas in various tissues. It's also more common in boys than in girls. Don't worry though, with proper medical care, the prognosis is generally very positive. The good news is that eosinophilic granuloma usually goes away on its own or with treatment. Treatment options may include steroids or other medications to reduce inflammation. The survival rate for people with eosinophilic granuloma is very high. Most patients respond well to treatment and recover fully. Most people who have it live long and healthy lives. They can continue to engage in normal activities without significant limitations. In conclusion, while eosinophilic granuloma may sound a bit scary, it's important to remember that it's a rare condition that is usually not serious. With early diagnosis and appropriate treatment, the outlook is very favorable. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.